Dub Dublin D. Dublin D. Double D. Dub double D. Dub double double D. Dub Dublin D. Dublin. Can I get a lifeline? Can I get a all right, it's anyway. always, it's a, we always get mixed by the players, bro. Right, right. <laughs> All righty, man. Now, we got Link and we got Sonics. Now, if y'all know anything about me, I do love me some Link, but my boy is kind of some toilet water, right? But it's not about the character, it's about the player. And for what it's looking like here, my man Double D, Dub Dublin D, is doing the damn thing. He's doubling the Ds. Man, facts. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute now. <laughs> right, Mr. Nasty is here early, I see. All righty. Now, I think Link's true calling in most matches is that short hop nair. Very safe on shield. Mine yeah. is something just incredible. Down air is a good get off me tool as well. Not the quickest option in the world, but very active. And I think that's what makes Link very dangerous in most matches is that you can't air dodge through a lot of his stuff. You just have to move. Up air lasts quite a bit. Forward air is not to be trifled with. Down air is a great get off me move. But obviously his biggest weak, well, one of his bigger weaknesses is that his inability to move quick and his inability to recover. And Sonic takes no prisoners off stage. Yeah, you're gonna have to have those bomb recoveries on the deck because if you don't, it's gonna be big trouble. Yeah, Link definitely not having too many fantastic results. Trying to get the bomb recovery is Atlas trying to line up that back air here. Mm -hmm. The great thing about Link though is when you have that rage, you can get that one big hit, but it's gonna be so hard against a character like Sonic, right? Yeah. Sonic is just so speedy, has all the things that Link essentially lacks, right? That's right. And I think, I feel like Dublin D is certainly well aware of that as well. So I'm glad you brought that up. He understands, okay, I'm really gonna struggle on the way down. And I think the mark of like a true competitor is knowing when it's time to land safely and when it's time to throw a button out on your way back down to the ground. And he's doing a really good job of making sure that Nair is always present yeah. in a safe way to get back onto the stage. Oh, uh, he has his bomb recovery. He's on lock. Ooh, whoa. But of course, Sonic is so fast, still being able to catch the landing of the bomb recovery with the board. So, you know, the bomb recovery is great, but you are damaging yourself over and over again. So, eventually, you're just going to get that percentage where almost any movement is going to get some KO on you. That's right. All right. And of course, has to keep percent in mind. I think. Oh, big damage. I think one daunting task of fighting against a Sonic of any caliber, and I'm glad I'm kind of seeing it here from Atlas. Is you some, sooner or later, you don't even realize you've taken so much percent. You've taken oh, so yeah. much as unnecessary chip damage. Uh, even a character that operates off of Rage, like Link or some of the other heavier characters, they can't even compete anymore. It's like, yeah, man, I got Rage. I'm, you know, I should be swinging for the fence, but Sonic is just so quick because he has that ability to get in and out on me. Yeah, Link, it, it gets so hard because you have to take so much guesses. The only place where Link starts getting crazy, but no, don't go into the light, don't go into the charge forward smash that is going to take the stock from center stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Link does have a bunch of technical stuff, but again, it, it's kind of just like, man, I'm doing all this work for, you know, a couple extra damage, do all these Z-drop aerials and, you know, the Z-drop infinites and stuff, it, but it is really tough to do. And on the other hand, Sonic, of course, all these general like spin dash or spin charge combos they rack up 20 30 damage every time you're getting whiff punished it's gonna add up quick right that's right and i think you know when you play a bigger character in a fighting game i'm glad you brought this up when you play a bigger character in a fighting game you realize okay where i lack in speed i have to make up and read right yeah. if i can't if i can't you know play the, the fast game i have to figure out where you're going to be but i feel like the sheer threat of like spin dash and spin charge is kind of sitting in place forcing a double and d to, you know, toss out that what would have been a normal read on a regular character, trying to play this game of chicken, if you will, with Sonic is just not really working out in his favor. Sonic has the ability to kind of keep the match on the ground and kind of threaten that space in between you and him, and things are just not quite working out in his favor. And accompanying that, you know, you have that frame five up air and forwarder, which is going to outspeed a lot of things Link's doing off stage. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a rough cut here. And, I mean, Sonic, for, for the most part, I think most players Woo. in the community think that this character is at least top five, if not free, top three. So free. It's, a, it's a character that, you know, the community generally slept on for quite some time in the beginning. But once everyone kind of figured out what this game is about, and, of course, like you said, speed is always important in Smash, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, when you look at all the other... Fighting, even other traditional fighting games and previous Smash games, speed is always the key. And Sonic has the power too. The back air is so strong, so active, and it's going to get the stock. Hit. That's right. Back air taking no prisoners ever. Unlike Fox's back air, Sonic's is real. 
<laughs> All jokes aside, man. Shout out to my boy Light. Here's the replay right here. I'm, I'm glad we have these here, man. Big shout out to production. Up tilt. One of Link's sneaker options. I love that run in and out. Just ambiguous movements. Mm -hmm. Waiting for the get up attack off the ledge. And then boom, there's the forward tilt. But again, sometimes you get a little too Nair happy. We even see it with the young Links as well. Nair, the aerials, a lot of those moves relatively safest on shield. Mm -hmm. The problem is that it's not safe on every character. If you start that too late or if you land right in front of me improperly, I want to say Sonic's hurt box might shift with F smash. Where, I mean, where you thought Nair was probably yeah, going to land. Back. Yeah, oh, you're man. in trouble, bro. There's a lot of uh, classic forward smashes that got that lean back. Sonic, Mario, right, Falcon, they get that little bit of a lean back, so it's great for kind of dipping backwards and getting that whiff punish. And even in general, you got to be so careful swinging out buttons against a character like Sonic. A lot of these quick, speedy whiff punish characters, and like we talked about earlier, you're taking a good amount of damage every time you try to contest the spin dash or the spin charge. Especially with Sonic as well. The other great thing about yeah. all these spin moves is the hurt box. Oh, what the, the hell oh, what going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> what the? Into the into the frat ball. Right. Almost, almost looks insane. Hold on. Whoa. He's getting he's getting fancy now. Kind of smits him a little bit. You know, Link has a little sauce, especially in those earlier percents where. You know, down throw yeah. still change into up tilt, up smash, or I guess in this case, you know, you have near earlier percents, but yeah, he said, look, man, those strings were cool, but forward air, bro. It's quicker than anything you got off stage. Ooh, okay. What a call out on that up B there. Great way. Try to catch the landing. Sonic with that frame two air dodge really quick. Also, there's a lot of direction here. Trying to go for this edge guard, but Sonic's just going to go spring to the ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think another thing uh, I would like to see a little bit more from uh, from Dublin D is is the threading of the, the threatening like of the the aerial space around him. Sometimes, like even if you aren't quicker than your opponent, if you're constantly tossing out like that heavy move, like that short hop forward air, uh -huh. especially with it being a short hop, and you know how some of Sonic's approach options kind of come out of like short hop nair, short hop forward air, some of those earlier to mid percent. It's like, bro. You're not really imposing your will sometimes in the match. Yeah, you're not as fast as him, but let him know. If you slip up, if you misstep, if you overextend, forward air will catch you. If not one of the hits, maybe both of the hits. I feel like we're just not seeing enough of that. He's kind of bringing us a very, like, um, a very finesse happy link, and I like that. But it's okay to kind of throw your weight around a little bit, too. Yeah, if you don't throw your weight around, then your opponent's just not going to have a sense of respect in certain areas, right? So sometimes yeah. you got to throw out that wild swing there. And Dublin did, did exactly that with that dash attack, catching the landing. What the? Oh, no. Can you make it back with the bomb recovery and the double jump? No. Oh, homie stock. Homies. Okay. Homies. Wow. Friends will be friends, said Freddie Mercury. We'll take it. All right, there's the up air. Nice. Frame frame five option. I mean, it's quick. What you going to do? Oh, try to lock him up again on that top platform. That, that ain't friendly at all. And we see Dublin trying to come in with the Nair. That Ling Nair is so strong, but Spin Dash has that little bit of intangibility on the hop up. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest anti airs in the entire game. And of course, you have the mix up between Spin Dash and Spin Charge. So, ooh, I like that. The ooh. jump into the shield pressure. Try to connect the back air onto the recovery. I also, yeah, I think. I, I like the bomb options that he's using. Oh, my God. Tilted down F smash up the ledge. You mad, man. I love the bomb recovery options. I'd like to see a little bit more of just up B in general, too. I think a lot of people think, well, Link's off stage. He's swinging. Let me just get out there and hit him, and you're done. Nah, bro. Once those arms, or excuse me, not arms, uh, once that blade starts swinging, bro, you really have to proceed with caution, yeah. especially if Link is backwards at the ledge. It actually vacuum just sucks you and, you know, throws you out into the blast zone, so. I want to see him maybe go for some of those more surprising options, but I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. Struggling with the percent, but does have the corner and stage control. Okay, getting some chip damage. Just got to get back on the stage here. Ooh, I like that. Faked out the bomb recovery. Okay, now at this point, you can actually go, like you talked about before, going for some trades, just throwing your weight around. You know, Finesse is kind of thrown out of the window. You have a lot of KO options, but a lot of them kind of surround around getting me off stage and exploiting my weakness. I got that F tilt that took a stock very early in the last game. I got forward air hell, even sweet spot there. Could oh. be okay. Oh. Missing the tech on the spring there. Not going to make it back from that one. Mm -hmm. Great stuff coming out from Atlas on the Sonic. Is it best of five? I don't think so, right? I believe it's all best of five right now. Oh, it's all best of five uh, right now. Wow. All best of we five. We are in best of five territory. Okay. Love this, man. Shout out to Momocon, giving the people what they want, damn it. Sponsored by Crystal, of course. Can't stress that enough. If you hungry, you in the surrounding area, then look no further than Crystal, okay? If you hungry, before you get hungry for some matches, be hungry for these burgers, all right? Yeah, they're doing some 
fantastic activations too, like giveaways and all that stuff. You you won the giveaway right on Instagram. I did win the giveaway, man. Yeah, I don't, I've go. never won anything in my life ever, ever, bro. And I was like, I don't know nothing about nothing. <laughs> hey, my OD. <laughs> and I've won something. So let's go ahead and get it, man. We got some fur on fur action right here in a true con style fashion. In Center World, we got Sonic. This is going to be a great one, man. Now, in Center World, of course, you were at Summit. You know, Center World's been catching a lot of love as of late. And I've always thought the character was very good, but I'm glad it's finally getting the representation it deserves. Yeah, it's pretty wild. In Center World, when you think about it, Center has better results than Link by far. Oh, free. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's pretty crazy how relevant this character is in the current metagame, considering how much the community like rid off this character, right? Like, yeah, well, you're slow, you got a bad recovery. It, it, it's over, right? Yep, yep, yep. But man, Sky J and even other Incineroar players really bringing this character to light, really showing off what this character can do. And when we talk about power, this character got all of that. That's right, and then some. And then some to spare, man, depending if he has revenge or not. Now, I want to, you know, talk about something. I, I think, you know, Incineroar's calling card really speaks true to, like, his character style, even down to, like, a stylistic approach. And that's, of course, getting you in the corner in a very wrestler-style oh. fashion. Once that pressure comes out, you in trouble, bro. You got that frame five Nair. You got that frame nine down tilt. And, of course, not the quickest down tilt in the world, but it's not about speed. It's more about, like, execution. Once down tilt connects, your ass is in the blender, okay? Oh, you yeah. in some trouble. That down tilt is such a good launcher. So good for two framing as well. Mm -hmm. And that was crazy. Uh, Dublin actually dashed back, caught a roll with Uppy, and it got the kill. The, that, I've never seen that from an Incineroar player. But Dublin oh. coming out with the tech right now and getting the damage. And this Incineroar doing a lot better than the Link so far. I bet he said the Link got to put be put back, man. Oh, wait a second, man. Wild Incineroar fainted, but that's okay because we got another one, said Dublin D. I'm loving the adjustments here. I think... I think what I wanted to see a little bit more of is, again, if we're playing a long-range game with Link, most characters, that might work. You know, it might frustrate them. You know, Boomerang, Bomb, right, all right. that. But Sonic is just that fast. He's his own projectile. He doesn't really have to worry about a lot of the projectiles if he chooses not to, depending on the stage setup. Uh, but I think here, I think his Incineroar, he knows he has to close that gap out. And again, just the sheer threat of some of his normal options, namely that Nair and Down Tilt, that right there is enough to make even this fastest character in the business sweat a little bit. Yeah, exactly. I mean... When you, when you think about these projectile characters as well, a lot of them are going to struggle against those speedster characters, right? Mm -hmm. So, great stuff coming out. Dublin is bringing out the Incineroar. It's like, you know what? When I do get in, it is going to hurt. And so far, going even in terms of stock and percentage here, we'll see who can close out the stock first. See if Atlas can set up an offstage situation. That forward smash on the upbeat was the moneymaker there for the last stock. Uh-huh. Uh oh, beautiful up here. That's right. It looks like it is Dublin D that's going to draw blood first and get that stock taken. Again, uh, bringing us something a little different to the table here. And this, I think, is a real uh, showing of a strong competitor. You know, playing a character like Link, who is such a stark contrast from Incineroar, but knowing that deep down, you got to have that love for characters that hit hard. So as long as you find those openings, those opportunities, you will be successful. And I think he's doing it really good here with Incineroar. That Nair at the ledge again. The pressure here has just been, oh my God, it's just, just been a, such a daunting thing, I feel like, for Atlas to work around. And Atlas is not getting these Edgars. 170, this back throw will surely do it. So now, Dublin on the last stock, same as Atlas, low percent here, down to the wire. We'll see if Atlas can close this, set out 3-0, or if Dublin is gonna push to a game four. Mm -hmm. Only time will tell here, especially when the Sonic is on the screen. They have the ability to, of course, kind of speed run a match, but they can also slow it down to a crawl. But slowing it down might not work in the way that you want it to, because if you slow it down, if you have the lead, you know, you play the more campier game, you'll be okay. But if you try to slow it down and maybe play like that quick in and out, let me just, you know, go for that chip damage versus the center where sooner or later he's going to catch you. Okay, nice. Oh, that frame five on that uh, that neutral special, dog. Oh, that, yeah. that is so messed up. It's messed up, bro. Oh, yeah, and it, it has multiple hits as well. There's a good amount of shield damage. You do get some intangibility as well, so a really great way to break up some scrambles, too, if you think your opponent's going to mash, right? Okay, going high. No no hit. Whoa. Wow, Atlas kind of sleeping on the wheel there. That's the one thing. When you toss Incineroar out, you just got to always position yourself to react and check that side beat. Yeah, he let him side beat for dear life right there. I, I can't say we're going to see that happen twice. Dublin D. Second least on life does not mind playing in the corner as well, too. This is that territory where Incineroar is like, I can go for a trade. I'm not opposed to it. Dash attacks coming through. One of his quicker options and, of course, one of his burstier options as well. Being able to get from one side of the stage to the other there with some relative ease. Okay. Going to go for the directional air dodge down on the top platform. 
Trying to keep those approaches back onto solid Whoa. ground. And Biggles just runs right into him. What the heck? Oh, no. Can you make it what back? The? Missing the ledge. And that is probably just the inexperience coming through yeah. with the Incineroar. Probably a Link main. And even we saw just the finesse on the Link, right? So I'm assuming Dublin is going to be that Link main. But right now, Atlas closing it out 3-0, even against the curveball that was Incineroar. That's right. And let's take a peek at these replays right here. Before we get to Incineroar, I feel like Link, of course, threatening some good space right here. That standing neutral or up special, excuse me. Very, very strong option. And of course, one of his burst gear moves out of shield. A lot of people forget that that move is even a thing. And then, of course, I believe shortly after, I'm going to go for the up air to try to catch the air dodge through. Now, of course, Link not with the springs to get up there. But had he been a character that was designed a little bit better, <laughs> Mr. Massey Hero up air would have caught him. But that's a story for another day, man. Big shout out, of course, to those two individuals. Yeah, amazing gameplay. It's hard for these 64 characters, man. It is. The original 12 <laughs> get no love. All Easter eggs. No, I mean, it's all cool, but none of it's like really practical in, in the matchup. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Blade Beam at zero is cool. It's yeah. cool. But think about how long you're going to stay in zero in like a high octane match. Right. Like because maybe 10 like seconds. Sonic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Even like your character's not even known for the crazy neutral or anything like that, right? Nope. So.